What's up, Thetics Athletes? It's Chris Heria. We're gonna be continuing the How to Start Calisthenics series, and today I'm gonna to have you unlock a calisthenics fundamental that's gonna take your handstand to the next level, as well as your physique and your skill set. And that is the handstand press, which is a building block to many other advanced exercises that require pressing your entire body weight, like the handstand 90 degree push up, L sit to handstand, full planche to handstand, and even improving your handstand push ups while building more upper body strength, muscle, stamina, and control. The handstand press is gonna give you the ability to press into a handstand from anywhere, whether that be the floor, elevated surfaces, dip bars, and even the pull-up bar, primarily building muscle in your shoulders, triceps, core, and traps, though it also recruits the help of other muscles in your back, your chest, and your lower body. The handstand press also gives you greater control, balance, and stability over your body, further developing you athletically and not just looking strong, actually being strong. Now, before we jump in to start learning on how to handstand press, I'd highly recommend you to be able to do at least a 10-second freestanding handstand hold. If you can't do a freestanding handstand hold, you should at least be actively trying to unlock that and at least be able to hold the handstand against the wall for a consecutive 30 seconds. I have many videos on how to do a handstand and breaking down the handstand step by step. So watch these videos that I recommend that I've already made before. This is gonna cover everything about handstands and how to start training for them step by step. And after watching the video, you should definitely be able to do at least the requirements I mentioned. I'd also recommend before we get started to expedite this learning process, making it a whole lot easier and faster to be able to do at least five handstand push-ups against the wall. This is gonna guarantee that you have the strength to learn each step comfortably and so that you could focus on your form and technique versus just struggling to perform the movement. And if you need help with your handstand push-ups, definitely check out my video, How to Handstand Push-Up. I break down the handstand push-up completely step by step. And after watching and training with that video, you should be able to do freestanding handstand push-ups for multiple reps. And lastly, I recommend you at least be able to do 12 consecutive elevated pipe push-ups and 15 explosive push-ups. If you have all of that down, then all you need to do is download the Thetics app in the App Store or Google Play Store, open up to the YouTube workout section, you'll be able to find this routine, smash the like button on this video, and we are ready to get started. Now, as I always say, training the negative of a movement that you can't yet do will eventually build your strength to be able to do the movement concentrically and unlock the move itself. And that's why the first progression we'll be starting off with is gonna be negative handstand press. If you already know how to handstand, you can try doing this move freestanding, but I'd recommend everybody to first start doing it against the wall. I'm gonna go for five reps, then break it down for you. So starting off with a solid handstand hold and a really strong grip on the ground, you wanna to begin to bend at your elbows while keeping your core tight. And as you begin to start descending, you wanna bring your feet to your glutes and then your knees to your chest. Simultaneously as you bend your arms and as you start coming down, you wanna also have a slight forward lean so that as I begin to bring my legs down, I have enough space to move forward and my head won't hit the wall. Now when you first start training this exercise, you may find yourself coming down pretty quickly and that's okay, that's completely normal. Eventually, the stronger you get, the more you train this, you'll be able to come down slower and slower and eventually you'll be able to completely control this all the way down. All right, so there we have the negative handstand press. So make sure that you've mastered this movement and you can do it at least 10 times consecutively before moving on to the next progression. What's gonna help you out the most is the technique that you use to come down. So make sure that you're using perfect technique and form. As you bend your arms to come down and start leaning forward, you're bringing your feet to your glutes and then your knees to your chest at the same time. It's also gonna be very helpful once you've been training this for a while to start training it without the wall. Let me show you what that looks like. Now I did a couple reps to show you that you can play with this movement. You can start descending, as I mentioned before, bending your elbows first and then coming with your feet to your glutes, knees to your chest. Or you can start descending by bringing your feet to your glutes and then bringing in your knees to your chest while bending your arms at the same time until you reach the bottom. Or you can just start bending your arms and bringing your feet in at the same exact time. Try all three of them, see which one works best for you, but all of them are gonna develop a lot of control and stability and help further develop your handstand press. So try to incorporate all three as we move on the progression. Now the next progression coming up is gonna be tuck handstand press pumps. I'm gonna go for eight reps, show you what it looks like, and then break it down for you. All right, so there we have the tucked 
handstand press pumps. Now when first starting off with this exercise, your range of motion doesn't have to be that crazy. As long as your feet are getting off the ground and you're controlling your own body weight, even if it's just for a second, completely off the ground, that's good enough. Because the more you practice this, the stronger you're gonna get. Eventually you'll be able to go higher and higher, have more control and be able to hold that position for a longer amount of time. And of course with this movement, you're getting more comfortable getting into an inverted position. So if this still feels too scary and you feel like you're gonna flip over, just do this against the wall without having to touch the wall, but the wall will be there for safety. And it will allow you to eventually lose that fear of being in an inverted position. But if you watched my how to handstand video and you know how to dismount properly, you should have already eliminated that fear. Now, a lot of people initially have an issue with this movement because they don't understand the body mechanics. So watch closely as I show you how to get into this move. We're gonna start off with all the weight on our feet and we're gonna place our hands down right where our knees are, shoulder width apart. The goal is to transfer the weight from your feet to your hands. You're gonna do that as you lean forward. Now from here, you'll feel all the weight on your hands and feel a lot less weight on your feet, but you still won't be able to bring your body up from this position, or at least it's gonna be a lot harder. So what you have to do is to make sure to get into that position with your arms bent. Instead of going forward straight with your arms straight, just pretend like you're going into a tunnel, put your head down a little bit, go into the tunnel, raise your hips, press, come right back down into the tunnel, raise your hips, and eventually the better you get at this, you can press even higher and higher. So train this movement diligently. You wanna be able to do at least five reps with perfect form and a decent amount of range of motion before moving on to this last progression that I'm right about to show you. That's gonna be handstand press against the wall. I'm gonna go for five reps, show you what it looks like, and then break it down. This movement stems directly off of the previous progression, the tucked handstand press pumps. So we're gonna start off right from where we left off from that last progression. As soon as your weight transfers onto your hands and your hips begin to raise, as you lean forward to press up, you're gonna do the opposite of the first progression, the handstand negative. You're gonna unravel and press into a straight line at the same time, instead of collapsing down as you lean forward. So as you lean forward and your hips start to raise, all your weight starts to go on your hands. Once they are, you're gonna to begin to unravel and press into your handstand, bringing your knees out from your chest and beginning to press and extend your feet into a straight line as you lean forward until you're in a completely solid handstand position. All right, so I did the reps in a couple different ways. I show you that you can just press up, tap the wall, regain your balance and solidify that handstand, then you can come back down. Or if you feel really good with your handstands, which you should be training towards, then you should do your reps like I did the last rep. Go up nice and controlled and completely locked out without touching the wall. The goal is to press up and stop and be able to hold a solid handstand. So when you're pressing and unraveling, you really wanna think of your body as extending like an accordion. Unraveling and extending from both sides at the same time while you're leaning forward. So if you find yourself losing balance as you reach the top, just tap against the wall, get in that handstand again. Also, it's important to lean forward as you're pressing, as well as as you're coming down, because your body is repositioning itself. It's gonna need that adjustment so that the weight of your body stays under your hands as you change position from an inverted position and back down. If you don't lean forward, it's gonna be a lot harder to press up, and you're gonna find your body ripping back down every single time and never being able to hold your balance. Now, like the previous progressions, once you've been training this against the wall, you've mastered it and perfected it, and you can do it without touching the wall, try doing it freestanding. I'll show you a couple reps right now. All right, and once you've been trying this for a while, you've mastered this movement, you're ready for a full rep, pressing all the way up and controlling the negative coming back down as well. Let me show you what that looks like. There we have it, the handstand press. And as you can see, you can start off this movement pressing up into your handstand and coming back down with your feet on the ground. But the more you practice this, the stronger you're gonna get. Eventually, you'll be able to press up, come back down, and you won't even have to touch your feet on the ground. You would have developed the strength to suspend your entire body weight off the ground and press right back up. And that's why this movement applies to so many more advanced exercises, like the 90 degree handstand push-up, handstand to full planche, full planche to handstand, handstand push-up, L-sit to handstand, and so much more. It's really endless the possibilities that you can apply this movement into. Not to mention being able to do it off of a pull-up bar, dip bar, the ground, elevated surface, anything, while simultaneously building an insane amount of upper body strength, control, stability, 
stamina, and muscle. So if you were able to get through this routine with me, congratulations on unlocking your handstand press. And for those of you that are still working on it, do not give up. Train this diligently. Use the other videos that I mentioned before for help, and you should be able to do a handstand press in just a matter of weeks. You'd be surprised on how fast you can actually achieve something training the right way and training the right things. Remember, it's not practice that makes perfect, it's perfect practice that makes perfect. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I can't wait to see all of you unlocking your handstand presses. Definitely tag me in Instagram or wherever you're gonna be posting. I'd love to see it. And for further assistance breaking down this movement, the handstand press step by step, definitely check out our technique guide that we've created on the Thenx app. Alongside all the other movements that we've created technique guides for, like the full planche, full planche push-up, human flag, muscle up, and so much more. And don't forget to take these routines with you everywhere and schedule them at any time from your phone. Download the Thenx app in the App Store or Google Play Store and get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts. They're gonna have you in the best shape of your life and join the millions of other Thenx athletes around the world, taking their physique and their training to the next level. And if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. We really appreciate it. It helps YouTube share our videos to more people out there. And to show our appreciation, if you comment down below within 30 minutes of any upload, you always have a chance to win some Thenx apparel. So make sure you hit the subscribe button right now with bell notifications on so that you never miss a video. And with that said, I'll see you next Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern time. Mad love and peace out.